In this question, we have to exploit the property of an equilateral triangle. We are told that this is an equilateral triangle with sides 3x plus y, x minus 2y, and 7. Now, what is the property of equilateral triangle? We know that with an equilateral triangle, all the three sides are equal. That's the first thing. So we expect this side to be equal to that side and to be equal to this side in length. Next, since two of the sides have been expressed in terms of two variables, x and y, it will make sense if we can come up with two equations so that we should be able to solve those two equations simultaneously because we have two variables, two unknowns, x and y. So it will make sense if we form the first equation by saying that this side is equal to this, which is true, and so, so I'll form that as the first equation, and then next we we'll form the second equation by saying that this side is also equal to this side. There we'll now be able to come up with two uh, simultaneous linear equations that we can solve for x and y. All right, let's go ahead. Now the first thing we we'll say this side is equal to seven, and so we'll go ahead and we'll write uh, we'll write three x plus y. 3x plus y is equal to 7. We call that equation 1. Then the other side will say x minus 2y is also equal to 7. We call that equation 2. All right. All of this have been formed thanks to the fact that the sides of an equilateral triangle are equal. Now, from here, we, we, we can solve for x and y using any of the methods of uh, solving uh, simultaneous linear equations. We can either use the elimination method, the substitution method, the matrix method, or even the graphical method. Now, if we choose the substitution method, for example, now I want to start with equation 2. Using equation 2, equation 2 again is x minus 2y is equal to 7. If we take this negative 2y that way, we'll end up with x is equal to 7 plus 2y. All right, we can put that in a box because this is the expression that will help us get the value of x. Now, since we have used equation 2, substitution method says we don't go back to equation 2. We have to go back to equation 1 at this time around. So in equation 1, wherever we find x, we we'll put the expression 7 plus 2y. So we now use equation 1. In equation 1, which is 3x plus y is equal to 7, wherever we find x, we put 7 plus 2y. So this will give us 3 into 7 plus 2y plus this y should give us 7. So we'll open this parenthesis, 3 multiplied to 7 is 21 3 multiplied to 2y is 6y plus this y should give us 7 should give us 7 now from here if we take this 21 which is here on the left hand side to the right hand side we end up with 6y plus y is equal to 7 minus 21 6y plus y is 7y. 7 minus 21 is negative 14. So if we divide now both sides by 7, we end up having the value for y as negative 2. This is the value for y. Now to get the value for x, to get the value for x, all we need to do is to... use the expression that we had earlier on in this box. In this box here, we just simply come and put the value of y. It will now help us get the value of x. So we say x is equal to 7 plus 2y. We know the value of y. y is negative 2. So x is equal to 7 plus 2 into negative 2, which will be 7 
2 multiplied to negative 2 is 4. And so the value of x is 3. So these are the two values, values of x and y.